What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Avengers Endgame breaks box office pre sales only in six hours. Jeez, the hype for this movie is insane. And just like that, snaps. Fandango's box office record was broken. Avengers Endgame managed to rack up more that more first day pre-sales than any film in the company's history, beating previous chart topper The Force Awakens. Uh, moreover, the upcoming Marvel title pulled this off in six hours. Uh, Fandango's new list of top five pre -day, pre uh, first day pre-sellers: Avengers Endgame, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, Infinity War. All Marvel and Star Wars. Actual ticket sales uh, numbers were not released. We've never seen anything like this. It's truly a groundbreaking ac accomplishment as fans simply cannot wait to see how this epic saga comes to a close, gushed Fandango managing editor Eric Davis. Uh, not that things weren't exactly smooth for Fandango, which caused a lot of online outrage for making fans reportedly wait more than an hour for tickets amid crashes. The AMC ticket... Theater tickets uh, sales page also reportedly failed, and Regal Cinemas and Adam tickets had issues as well. I can confirm this from my experience. It was awful. Uh, I had to get 10 p.m. IMAX uh, tickets because I, I couldn't get 7 p.m. because they sold out so fast, and uh, it was it was crazy, man. So, uh, let me see, blah, 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 oh, here's somebody complaining about it, and I get it, I mean, but I, I don't know, you know, they, they they obviously need to prepare better, but at the same time, it is what it is, so, uh, anyway, the film represents a climax of 22 movie Marvel Cinematic Universe, Infinity Saga, the film concludes the story of last year's Infinity War, which made $2 billion at the global box office, now, the point of this entire video that I am gonna make is... We're going to talk about Captain Marvel. Now, why are we going to talk about Captain Marvel? Mainly because I know so many people have said I need to stop talking about Captain Marvel. So I'm going to talk about Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel crossed a billion dollars today. I think officially crossed a billion dollars. And this is exactly the main reason it happened. Now, people have said, oh, it's your fault, Jeremy. Yes, it's my fault. It's my fault for my YouTube channel with 130,000 subs. I'm the reason Captain Marvel made a billion dollars. Yeah, thank you for giving me credit for that. But let's have a normal conversation with normal people. And nobody that's normal actually believes some asshole on YouTube like me had anything to do with the success of Captain Marvel. This was because of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This was because of the most trusted brand in the history of movies right now. At this point, 22 movies over 10 years. The best shared universe of all time. This is why Captain Marvel is so successful. Nobody has really been excited for Captain Marvel. Like, I haven't heard anybody be really excited for Captain Marvel. I've heard from the Captain Marvel bots. I've heard them. Man, my chick's hot. Anyway, uh, I've, I've heard... <laughs> I got distracted. Um, I've heard from the bots on Twitter. I've heard them sit there and claim that they're so excited. And there's about seven of the bots. And, and that's fine. But generally speaking... We all kind of get a, a feel for, for an excitement level uh, of a movie. And we have, none of us has, have felt the excitement for Captain Marvel. But the general audience went out there, they saw it, and it is what it is. It made a billion dollars, and this Infinity War breaking the box office, breaking every movie website, shows you exactly why. If you're attached to the Marvel Cinematic Universe... You're going to be gold, but in, but Captain Marvel was featured at the end of Infinity War. She was tied to a $2 billion film, directly tied to it, directly. So that's, that's exactly why it happened. But hey, either way, I didn't think it would make a billion regardless of all of those factors. I didn't. I still thought it would be, I didn't think it would make a billion. I said it would be successful. I did not think it would make a billion, but it did. And congratulations to Kevin Feige, to Bob Iger. To everybody involved, you clearly know what you're doing. You know far more about this stuff than any of us. And it's clear that you guys have this figured out. So congratulations on all the success. I'm looking forward to Endgame. I can't wait. And then we'll see what happens after that. But it's not looking too promising based on a lot of the rumors that we've heard. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys have a great day. And we will talk to you later.